Hey guys, welcome back to another video. So, I, in the previous video, you know, oh my god, that this tank is different now. Um, anyways, I took the catfish out because I got snails and they, they ate their, like, their, which, um, whiskers off, I guess I would call them. But anyways, I got thread, I mean, yeah, it's noticeable, but it's starting to grow over it. Um, and I got these on there, these are just regular land moss. Um... One way is the other. I just started catfish out. Catfish out. But the guppy in here that I told you was pregnant. She had babies, but I only found two. And yeah, I know they could be home. I got my fingers in the way. But yeah, I know they could be having, um, plenty of places to hide in here. But still, like, you would think she had them, like, three days ago, two days ago. But you would think that I'd be able to see at least more than two. And I haven't even been able to find the two anymore. So, I don't know. I mean, yeah, there's thousands of places to hide in here, because, like, this, there's a rock back there, this, like, lava rock, and, like, it has big holes in it that you can go inside, and then there's thousands of places to hide, especially, like, right there, and then in the wood. But, there's my snail over there. But, yeah, there's just so many places to hide, but still, like, you, I would think, they usually have, like, uh, most of mine, when I had them before, they usually have around 60 to 70. But still, I only found two, and she's not, uh, I don't think she's pregnant anymore, because she's not as you know, big as she was. But, um, it's this tank, I redid it. Nothing too fancy. Just, I got the piece of driftwood that I've had. Um, oh my god, this tank is, I need to clean that. But anyways, that's just some land moss that I soaked for three days to get all the bacteria out. First, what I did was, like, I cleaned the bottom off and I soaked it for three days and non chlorine water, or chlorine I don't know, I don't remember, but anyways, um, yeah, that's what I did with all these, and then now uh, that one, it's starting to grow over the string, so is that one, um, but they're growing, and then growing, but, uh, I'll keep y'all updated on it, this is nothing too fancy, so that snail is fast, like literally when I, just, when I turned the lights this morning, he was right there, and then he was right here, like two minutes, like a second later, and I was over there when he was just right there, but anyways, yeah, this is just a, I have some, um, dark weave right there, and I'm using this LED light, that you can get from Walmart, but yeah guys, there's nothing too fancy about it, just a simple, and also, um, it's better for like the plants and stuff, Especially with a duckweed, you can't really, I mean, I, sh I want to get like a, um, bubbler, like one of the, um, bubbler slides with the filtration. Right now I'm just using a aerator, but, and I just have it under the rock where it looks like it's coming out, but it's enough to give them oxygen, but not enough to, but it don't have a suction power to, um, get that. But I want to get like a aerator stone, not a stone, but like one of the, um, like the filter pads ones. Where they have where they can have filter pad and, and so they don't cycle the tank more. But so the fancy just tell me you don't get um take my duckweed because I had get, I used to do that before and I had a hang on the back filter and it always sucked up my duckweed. But nothing too fancy though, guys. Just a simple tank. Um, there's that snail again going up the wall. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, make sure you, if you want, if you like my videos and you like, um, fish tank stuff or any of my videos, just make sure you leave a like and subscribe and leave me a friendly comment down below. But anyways, guys, thank you for watching the update on my a community plant aquarium. Bye-bye, guys.